Hi everybody, welcome back to the Acne channel. My name is Felicia and today I have a very fun video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be reacting to TikTok and Instagram videos of skincare hacks and tips. I'm really excited and yes, it's going to be fun and it's very reminiscent of 10 years ago of watching YouTube videos and watching, you know, do-it-yourself YouTube videos of what to do with your skincare, especially when I was breaking out in high school. That's actually where I first saw a person explaining why um, you can put toothpaste on your skin. That went horrible for my, for my skin, but yeah, I mean, let, let's see what the internet today has for skincare hacks and tips so the first video that I'm gonna to react to is from Sarai P Sanchez and here's a turmeric face mask recipe so let's see but a man above the one I serve can't change what's happened yet okay i really love turmeric i would try this at home because i really like the yogurt i love the honey i love the turmeric i'm not quite sure about the cider but maybe that was that would be a little bit too rough for my skin so i would kind of play around with the amount of cider but i'm excited to try this I, I know that there's actually a brand called Mary Louise Cosmetics. They have a turmeric mask. So I'm excited to try that. I haven't tried that, but the, since the star ingredient for this is turmeric, that just reminded me of that product that I always wanted to try. To be honest, I've done a lot of do-it-yourself face masks and some of them have broken me out so bad, but some of them, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at them. And it's usually because I use, you know, very simple ingredients there's usually gonna be like three to four ingredients so something similar that I've done is banana baking soda and turmeric and I would just mix all of that together and I would put it on my face for like 10 minutes and let it dry and it felt nice but it wasn't something that <laughs> I was willing to do again just because I know that there are masks out there that can just do you know deliver better results than just banana baking soda and turmeric it makes you really appreciate skincare formulas but yeah i mean i, I tried that when um, i was breaking out a little bit here and there i didn't do it consistently enough for me to see results but that video is just bringing back memories of when i tried that simple recipe okay so the second video that i'm going to be reacting to is from jules mcq 15 and this this is apparently it's an extraction video. She says, okay, but how satisfying was that? Telling you it's gonna hurt. Stay away from a boy like that. He wants a breadwinner. Telling you it's gonna hurt. Stay away from a boy like that. He wants a breadwinner. Okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, you know what? I will say if that is a professional and I'm not quite sure if you can do that with tweezers or not, but I'm assuming this is, you know, someone who is a professional, she's wearing gloves, I'm seeing the tweezers. I mean, yeah, it was kind of satisfying. That has happened to me a lot, actually. You know, if you exfoliate consistently, it's supposed to help with your blackheads and your whiteheads. And sometimes what I do is I would squeeze my nose. And sometimes when I have a really big whitehead, it would just like pop out just like that. But like I, I didn't use a tweezer or anything like that. And it's so satisfying even though I see like 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 a really small hole from where the whitehead used to be but yeah that was kind of a that was kind of satisfying I've also have spent like maybe two hours watching dr. pimple popper yeah it's <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure but who cares you know like it's satisfying as F you know I'm addicted to those videos I love extraction videos and yeah that one was a that one was a really good one okay the third video is from heal thy skin NYC no touch blackhead extraction with jet peel all right let's watch that <laughs> What? 
Oh wow, I didn't even know. I don't even know what jet peel is. Let's watch it. Let's watch it again cuz Um yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I I don't know anything about the jet peel technology, but it kind of looks like you're just blowing, you know, high speed air and extracting blackheads that way. I have personally targeted my blackheads with a laser facial. So I went to the skin laundry and they did a laser facial, you know, around my problem areas. And, you know, you can kind of like, it smells a little bit funky. And when I asked her what that smell was, it's, and you know, she would say it's the laser kind of like burning off your blackheads blackhead correct me if I'm wrong with laser facials but I just feel like that's like a more effective way than this because after that facial my nose was clean like clean I can't even I couldn't even see any blackhead on my nose so I mean this is interesting I would try this for sure I'm just not quite sure if it's going to be the most effective okay so the next video is going to be from chlorophyll girl and it says detoxes your body and skin and stops body odor watch me clear my skin in a week with chlorophyll water what okay watch me clear my skin in a week with chlorophyll day one day three day five day seven Clear my skin in a week with chlorophyll day one, day three, day five, day seven. Okay, <laughs> so chlorophyll water. I don't know a lot about chlorophyll water but I would have some questions. Some questions would be, are you only drinking chlorophyll water to address your skincare concerns? I wonder what else she is using on her skin. And I mean, I've taken supplements before. I've taken a lot of like expensive supplements as well and I've seen it work but they're supplements meaning they're like a cherry on top of something that I've already been doing consistently and it's supposed to like it's supposed to help but it's not the only thing that I'm doing so I, I I'm not quite sure like is she using it as you know the way that you we would use vitamins you know it would help with skin but it's not it's not gonna be the only thing that's gonna clear up your skin. Those would be my questions. I'm, yeah, because, just because I don't know a lot about chlorophyll water, but I would really love to try this and see it for myself because her skin, you know, looks amazing. And, you know, you can tell that she's getting glowier and glowier as, um, as the days progress. But, you know, usually it takes me about a month uh, to see something work for my skin. I haven't used skincare products that showed results like that in seven days. So that's just from my experience. I'm not quite sure, but you know, this is, I would be interested in doing this or drinking chlorophyll water as a supplement for sure. I drink a lot of green juices, you know, like cucumber with cilantro, with green apples, and I feel good taking them. And you know, I think it does help clear my face, but it's not the only thing that I'm doing. I have a lot of skincare products that I use on my face. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, so the next video is from Natasha may.xx and it looks like a blackhead vacuum this is it's so worth it got the blackhead vacuum and i really recommend this item pulls your spots out really well the only bad thing is the bruises pulls your but spots it's worth out it really for well the skin. only bad thing is the bruises but it's worth it for clear skin <laughs> okay confession i've actually bought one of these blackhead vacuums before from amazon they were like 20 bucks and i've used it a couple of times and i did get a little bit of bruising because i always just want to do it at the highest level and i've stopped using it because you know as i've done more research 
I'm not quite sure if that's really the best tool that I can use on my skin. I think that was me trying to find like a quick fix to my blackhead and being impatient. But now I just, you know, stick to chemical exfoliants or exfoliating face masks that you know over a couple of weeks will you know get rid of dull cells and reduce blackheads and all that stuff yeah that's that's what I have to say about that I don't recommend buying tools like that but that's just me because I don't recommend things that I'm not using and that I've stopped using okay so next one is from Terry M low tech banana peel hack skincare hack let's see Bet your mother didn't teach you this one, or maybe she did. I don't know. I know my mother didn't, so this mother's going to teach you. Did you know that banana peels are great for your skin, especially dark circles under your eyes? Yeah, and I'm going to show you how. Take the white fibers inside the banana peel and scrape them out. Take the fibers just like that and mix it with aloe. If you don't have aloe, use your favorite moisturizer. Now mix it all together and gently tap it under your eyes. The potassium in the banana helps reduce dark circles. It also helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It's also great for acne and some other skincare problems. Leave it on for about five to 10 minutes, then rinse it off and watch the magic. All these life hacks right in your kitchen. Hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> okay. Okay. I believe that she's being genuine and I believe her that you know if this works for her I believe her but this is not something that I would try under my eyes just because there are just so many available eye creams out there that are affordable that targets dark circles and when she was like yeah the potassium you know gets absorbed and all this stuff and I do wonder you know first of all how long does it take for the potassium from the the inside of the banana to break down so that your skin can actually absorb it. I don't know the molecular weight of potassium and I don't know. Just knowing the biology of your skin, I'm just not quite sure if, you know, if if the potassium is able to break down fast enough so that your potassium channels on your skin is able to absorb them and really get into your skin. Those would be my initial questions for her, kind of from a scientific standpoint of, okay, biologically, how does this happen? And I, you know, I would Google things because that's what I do, you know, research stuff. Um, and I would just do my due diligence when I see stuff like this. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about that. I personally wouldn't try this. I think that you would see more of the effect from the aloe vera or the moisturizer that you're using more than the banana inside the peel but that's just me those are just my thoughts take it or leave it okay so next video is from j bueno lash skin This kind of just looks like a basic facial with radio frequency. Gosh, I don't I don't know much about radio frequency facials, but it kind of just looks like like a facial and you know, you're going to look great after you after you've paid for a facial and they're going to, you know, it's customary to just it's expected that they're gonna put a moisturizing mask after they do an extraction or a facial to make you know your face moisturized after you know they've done a facial. I would love to try radio frequency and see what that's all about. Okay, so the last one is gonna be from Emily Frost Aesthetics, and this is fractional carbon dioxide laser. looks intense and I would love to try this 
you know, as I get a little bit older right now, I don't think that I need this type of treatment, but I'm really open to this. And I feel like if a girlfriend wants to try this, I'll be like, sure, let's do it. And really see if my, you know, pores get tighter, if I have smoother skin. And I do wonder how much this would cost. It, it looks intense. Uh, but like I mentioned, I've tried um, laser facials before and I really loved um, the result of that. And so, you know, this is fractional carbon dioxide laser facial. And I mean, I feel like it's right up my alley. And thanks for adding this to, you know, I feel like I'm learning a lot about facials <laughs> through this reaction video because I didn't know a lot of them. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope you had fun watching me react to skincare um, hacks and tips um, from TikTok and Instagram videos. Um, please uh, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.